Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Yak About a Yak. I'm your host, Black Sparrow. Today we're going to be kayaking the upper area of the Sobel River. So we're here in the parking lot. That's my son, Nathan, who's going to be joining me. And we're going to have some fun. Come along for the ride. Catch you on the flip side. Making our way down the path. So he's got to paddle around, chain it up here, so that we can launch the second kayak in this little spot. And here we are. Double Falls. We have the restraint in here so that you don't accidentally kayak over the other side of the falls. All right, here we go. shallow here as you cross under the bridge. Well, watch out for the rocks. You're about a foot down so you don't run any risk of damaging the bottom of your kayak. there a paddle bike that's neat hydro bikes Ooh. somebody's built themselves a beautiful dock over here would love to have that piece of property ah, there's some ripples on the water up ahead a little bit of this fish action going on I brought my fishing rod with me. Maybe next time. A duck on the water, sitting on a log. Hope I don't scare it. Let's go by nice and gentle. Good morning, Mr. Duck. A couple of dads with their sons fishing. That's cute. There should be some perch or sunfish, maybe some crappie. Yeah, they should get a couple of bites over there. So, in this open area, under this bridge here, if you take it out that way, you can connect into the Rankin River system. That'll take you from the Sobel River all the way up to Boat Lake, Isaac Lake, and right up to Sky Lake. Problem is, I've heard from some guys that there's a lot of falling down trees, so it can only go so far. So we're going to continue on Sobel River here. So peaceful. Yeah, so apparently this year, a local resident was telling me they dumped in a bunch of smallmouth bass into the river. Right where uh, the river crosses Highway 8 en route into town 
into Sobel. Hundreds of fingerlings of smallmouth bass. So apparently, guys, there's some good fishing. Look at the way the water just reflects the trees. Oh, just breathtaking. Look at that. It's August, beginning of August. Now we got some leaves already starting to change here. Yeah, I guess I'd say that uh, this upper part of the Sabo River is much nicer to kayak than the lower part. Lower part, you've got a lot of boat traffic. you got the marinas there, people going in and out from the lake. This upper part, though, is just at peace with nature. Big turtle, wow. That was neat. So falling down log. Let's go take it that side of the log. Otherwise we're gonna roll way over top of a submerged branch. There's a crane over there. Crane. paddling in the coolness of the shade. Nature's air conditioning. Boy, it's so beautiful out here. I tell you, I'm gonna play back this video a few times on loop. Just as a nice, peaceful screensaver. Hope you're enjoying it. So many twists and turns on the Sobel River. Got a little bit of a headwind now. Kind of glad it's at our head. That way it's at our back for the return paddle to the launch site. Oh, look at that. River kind of snakes off there into a little stream. So we've come about 50 minutes up the river, checked the map, and um, I was hoping to get to the Jewel Street Bridge, but it looks like we're only about 50% of the way. So if you're trying to get from Sobel Falls all the way up to say Jewel Street Bridge or beyond, uh, you're definitely going to want to plan for about a two hour kayak ride one way. Further on up would be close to the main highway that takes you into Sobel, Sobel Beach. Uh, if you're going to go all the way up to there, then you're definitely going to want about three hours on the water 
if you're planning a one-way direction paddle trip. Anyways, we're going to start in on our journey back. I'm going to sign off from here. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Till next time, this is Black Sparrow saying, take care. So Nate, how'd you like it? Good. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Have you seen the animals? Yeah. Turtles, yeah, that's always fun. Turtles, uh, was it uh, turtles the blue herons, a yep, couple of different birds. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, we found a perfect spot to bring it up. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll grab the kayaks and cart it back to the car. Yep. All right. Uh -huh.